disgusting. I'm doing it for science. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and did you know there's now a way you can measure your oral bacteria and fungi. Yeah, the stuff living in your mouth. And your oral microbiome can show you the root cause of things like bad breath, tooth decay, even gut inflammation, and more. So in this video, I will be trying out this bristle test and exposing my mouth to all of you. Wow, I feel naked. You think I shouldn't show them what's going on in my mouth hole? It's just pretty dumb they make a test I can do in the secrecy of my own home, and then I go and spill it all over the internet. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some vials and funnel for the spit capture. We actually had the CEO and co-founder of Bristle on Total Fit Heads podcast, and it is fascinating what they're doing. There are a ton of bacteria in your mouth, and they can identify and measure a hundred plus of them, and they can tell you stuff like why you have bad breath, or gut inflammation, or a tongue coating, or burning mouth, or inflamed gums, or a weird taste, or tooth decay. And they're looking even more into connecting what's going on in here to your whole body. Just scan to register, and now they're having me fill out a quick health survey. Wait, I'm registered. They know that my spit is on its way in the mail to them. How much of it do I need? And they also give you a return envelope. Easy peasy. Biohazard easy. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat, drink, or smoke 30 minutes before this. Luckily, I fast all the freaking time. Here we go. Time to inspit in you. It's not, <laughs> not the not grossest of things. They give you scratch and sniff stickers to help you produce saliva. How funny. Mmm, lemony. Makes me want to drool. Is that too much? Ugh, the bubbles are like, okay. <laughs> I should blur this, that's gross. Yeah. Now I gotta shake this 10 times. And it's not just that they're gonna tell me maybe something's wrong, it's that they're also gonna give me personalized diet, hygiene, and product recommendations based on what's going on in here. Round two, we just skip ahead on that. I'm doing it for science. <laughs> my spitting in the mail office, specifically for when I mail my spit. <laughs> Which seems to happen often on this channel, honestly. I'm, I'm getting so good at it. You wanna smell the lemon? Okay, oh. Ew, ew. It's fine, everything's under control. <laughs> Maybe need a paper towel. So spin to the funnel so that your saliva falls in the tube halfway. Maybe sending too much. It's fine. Feel bad for whomever is on the other end of receiving this. Now I just gotta get to a mailbox, which seems to be the hardest part. And since we're exposing me, why not even get more uncomfortable? Let's talk about how I'm stressed out and I clench my teeth at night while I'm unconscious. And so for a long time, I've been struggling with gum recession and my dentist claims it's because of that stressed out clenching. He gave me a night guard, which I wear every night. Sweet. But Danny Granick, the CEO I mentioned, was saying that people that wear night guards or retainers at night really have weird bacteria that aren't usually in the mouth. It introduces something crazy unexpected, which almost makes me feel like this would make my gum recession worse, not better, and I'm hoping I can get some answers from my microbiome. Exactly 20 days from mailing my spit, my results are ready. The little mouth creatures have been extracted, sequenced, analyzed, I'm excited. Now they have all this info saved in my account, that's cool, what do we got? <laughs> First thing they're showing me is beneficial bacteria, which is low, that's not good. I mean, it's cool they're showing me on this scale here. There's me and then healthy people are at a 10. Uh -oh. Man, they are checking a lot of bacteria. And they show me each one individually. Wow. See, I'm great on capnocytophagia granulosa. Okay, the next thing they're showing is tooth decay. I am great. Hey! Way low in the green. Look, compared to healthy people, I'm even lower. Awesome, I'm just gonna stop brushing my teeth. Thanks, Bristle. Next thing is gum inflammation. Woohoo! Another green! Love being down low on that scale. Low abundance of gum disease causing bacteria. See, that's surprising to me, honestly. Because what I was talking about with my gum recession, I thought I'd have gum inflammation and that was causing it. But it seems my recession may actually be from grinding my teeth at night versus some sort of bacterial gum problem. Guess that's good to know. The next thing is gut inflammation. Oh no! That is very orange. Associated with digestive conditions. Let's see, I'm high in this one, which is related to IBS. I'm high in this one, which is also related to IBS. I feel like my stomach can power through anything. Halitosis high! <sighs> oh, cut. Why am I showing you this? Important, have you been lying to me this whole time and I have bad breath? I think everyone's breath kind of is weird. Kind of is weird? Do I have bad breath or not? No! You don't know? When? I don't know all the time. I took a mouth thing and it said that it smelled. No, I mean, this is not a scripted thing. I need to know. Do I have that? No, one? I don't know what test you're taking with this dumb. Okay, just bought 300 tongue scrapers. I think I remember their founder brought that up on the podcast. Ugh. The things I exposed to you, Pally. Feeling really naked right now. Well, lucky you, YouTube doesn't have a smell feature. Okay, now we're at recommendations. 
Yeah, high confidence that I should have fluoride, which prevents tooth decay. I thought I didn't have tooth decay. Remember I was not gonna brush anymore? Xylitol. Reduces symptoms of gum disease, which I didn't have trouble with, and tooth decay, and bad breath. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna be chewing gum in every video from now on. Consider a targeted approach to combat halitosis. Like it's freaking going into battle. Oh wait, I did not realize that my bristle test comes with one-on-one -on -one health coaching. So I scheduled and I'm pumped to talk to my coach today. Also my many, many tongue scrapers arrived and for ease of access, I'll just be placing them all throughout my living space. You're showing a low score here. Usually we say like the sweet spot is anywhere between seven to 10 because they're using like a mouth rinse with alcohol in it, or they might be using a hydrogen peroxide rinse. Also, we're seeing some patients who have acid reflux having a lower beneficial bacteria score. Sometimes gum recession can be caused by bruxism or attrition, which means clenching or grinding of the teeth. There can be bacteria that can cause more bone loss. Usually if you have like flat teeth and it's like a dead giveaway that you're grinding your teeth, Another way to help prevent the clenching and grinding is like just doing Botox in your masseter muscle. Oh, I've heard about this, and, yeah. And that really helps prevent the clenching and grinding if you're doing that. Like if you know that you clench your teeth when you're stressed out, it's not a bacteria that's causing the recession. It's, it's your clenching and grinding. Yeah. No, it has to be. I mean, they say they can see it on my teeth. I wake up with a sore jaw. A lot of our patients have a history of bad breath. Yes, so please tell me a score like this is common. It is very common. Yes. It's not uncommon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Iman was awesome. I thought I was just gonna get some generic data online, but this was way more personal, almost too personal, because now Iman knows my 10 score. But she sent this care plan specifically for me, so now I have this rinse for my 10 and this probiotic for my gut. Oh, and this next level floss. Seriously, I didn't know that there was superior floss and this whole time I'd been using Bla Floss. And I got a fancy new toothbrush. Both Iman and my regular dentist suggested this because it connects to your phone and it knows when you're brushing too hard and says, knock it off. Sometimes I need robots to tell me to chill out. Let me know if you wanna see my experience with this crazy thing. I feel like it needs one of my elegant unboxings. And now I have achieved oral health. Ha <laughs> ha, no. We need to see if my changes make a difference. So Bristol hooked me up with the follow-up test. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me document the journey of my new mouth regimen. I know you want to see that 10 score come down. I'm also considering Botox. Guess for that jaw clenching problem, I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? Should I document it? I'm torn, let me know. And if you liked this, you'll like seeing me test out the relief band that zaps your wrist to get rid of nausea. I'll put that down there for you. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today I'm testing out a cure for nausea, a wristband that supposedly shocks the sick out of you. Yeah, nothing to ingest. You just wear this, and then you stop being nauseated. Of course I had to try this out unboxing. My signature elegant unboxing, and of course I had to give you this 